Okay. Good news, bad news. Good news is we're on our way home. Bad news. Uh, this thing's banged up an awful lot, and the drill bits are gone on the front. So what happened? Uh, I went online, looked around a little bit. People explained. There was a great guy on Reddit who had he he put through like this is what each of these values does, and this is how they contribute to the overall stability of the car. So I took that into account. It was strength. It was the strength of the suspension. I upped that quite a lot so that the wheels weren't um, so that the wheels would keep everybody level. And then the friction, he was like, yeah, your friction should be set a little bit lower just so you don't like if you like on this bumpy terrain, if we had hit the outcropping of a small rock that the wheel grabbed onto, the wheel might be inclined to turn to the right because of how it grabbed that particular rock, and because it's not level. And if that wheel, if the friction is set up super duper high, um, then that's just what's going to happen. It's going to grab the edge of that rock. It's going to want to turn. The rest of the car is not going to want to turn. It's just going to cause huge problems. So now it looks like we can't even get up this hill. Uh, let's put the brakes on then. Uh, so, um, after doing all that, unfortunately, the... Um, Unfortunately, that still didn't fix all of our problems. After doing all that, it did not fix all of our problems. The car was still sporadically flipping and going crazy. That I cannot make it up this hill angers me a lot. So, I chopped off the drill bits. I noticed that every time this thing would flip and go crazy, um, every time it would flip and go crazy, the uh, and the drill bits were destroyed. That it would usually come to a rest and it would stop having its issues. I cannot believe I am now just not able to go up a hill. Um, but I noticed that every time the drill bits were destroyed, that the car would come to a rest and it would stop. It almost always came to a rest upside down, so I couldn't drive it afterwards, but I loaded the game again, and the first thing I did is I ran up and just chopped off the drill bits. And things look normal, quote, quote. But the problems persist. And what are those problems that... Now look off there to the left. You see that little patch? I've been told that little patches like that are telltale hints that there's uh, minerals underneath them. But I see home, and this has been stressful, so I'm just going to go right toward home. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I chopped them off and things have stabilized. I don't know if the drill bits on the end of pistons because the pistons are always doing like a negative one velocity, like negative 0.2 velocity backwards to keep the items retracted. I don't know if that connected with the drill bit was somehow creating a torque and that that torque was in some kind of feedback loop where the game was like, oh, there's three newtons of torque in this direction. And that 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 mathematically means that there should be you know three plus whatever that initial value was. So it's always always building that force up. It's never there's no limiting factor to it. There's no degradation of the signal. So all of a sudden we have this gigantic loop where things are just getting worse and worse and worse. I assume that's what was happening here, but I don't know. All I know is I'm back. And I need to fix everything. So, 
interior plates. You need 10 interior plates. You're working? Yeah, look at that, he is working. Um, here, I don't mean to throw more worries on you, but there, that. An interior plate? Great, I'm going to need some more interior plate, please and thank you. Okay, a motor, small tubes and motors and computers, small tubes, right, please, small tubes, motors, I think I have computers out the wazoo. And two drill bits in the whole great scheme of things, not the not the most difficult or not the most difficult things to uh, reproduce. Not quite not quite lined up. I thought I did a good job this time with that. There we go. Now what I would like to do this episode is uh, I'm going to expand out the base a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to rip those up. I'm going to expand out this way. I'm going to try to cover the whole of despair, the whole of despair too. This is where the uh, the first um, this is where the first vehicle we had flipped over uh, is so funny. I built it I built it like right there or right here, and it rolled and it hit here. And it like flipped a little bit. I was like, "Damn, that was close." And, it, <laughs> and then it rolled over here and fell into this hole. And I was like, "Well, so this is the digging all the way down, getting gravity to help me flip it back over, getting it on its feet here, leveling it out so that it was nice and level on its feet, and then getting this ramp done." And then it, literally, I got in it and I was like, "Let's go!" And it went woo, and it fell right back down into this hole. And I was like, "Great, upside down." And I just, I just, I lost it. Losing my world and that happening. Oh, not good times. Not happy times. Sad times. Sad times. But what do I want to do? Uh, I want to turn this into a, an atmospheric miner. I am done trying to do wheels and all that. So what I would like to do is come in here and in, in between these struts, I'm going to put thruster, thruster, thruster. Or probably just do like like thruster there, thruster there, thruster right there, and then thruster back here. So it'll be four for each side. One, two, three, four on the back. So that's going to be four, eight, twelve. Uh, just two in the front. Like one right there, one right there. So fourteen. And then just maybe four on the top. So eighteen. We're going to need eighteen atmospheric thrusters. Um, I want to I want to get this thing mining capable um, because I want to uh, upgrade this from the basic assembler and the basic refinery. I want to upgrade to the big boy stuff, and to do that, I'm going to need a miner to make that happen. So this is my next priority. I need 18. I need 18 thrusters built. Um, there is a part of me that would like to see the game like. I build the thrusters in the assimilator and then put the, the thrusters in my inventory and then come up and click the, 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 the thruster into the area and then use the builder just to build it up. Um, I would like that a lot better than having to worry about you know interior plates or interior that or interior this. 
I feel like in the real world, an engineer would have a workspace where he would create something as small, not this, right? This would have to be built on site. I get that. But a thruster, as compact as they are, I feel like he would build it, or she would build it in their work area and then bring it out and attach it to the to the whatever. Oh, and then landing gear. But that's... And then we'll just grind all this stuff up and let it let it sit away. To that end... Um, I guess that's fine. All right, first things first. Let's go and look and see what we're going to need for the thrusters. Uh, ion thrusters, large, large atmospheric. I think we just want to do this one. So it needs 110 motors each. Holy pooping crap. If we're going to do 18 of these and it needs 110 motors, that's 1,000... 800 right so I have a calculator here here we go let's nerd this up why would you need so many motors the inside of a jet engine is not I mean it's complex but it's not one thousand nine hundred and eighty motors is that right one thousand nine hundred and eighty motors. If you play this game by yourself, it takes forever to get anything that resembles. Like if you want anything nice, you're paying for it. So one is six point six. So just to build, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need. Four on each side. I don't know. What is the... Let's look at the... Is there any type of build planning? Click to add selected block variant or drag and drop to the block here. MMB on a block to quickly add it to the build planner. Okay. Okay. What's that? What's the build planner? Do I wait, hold on. Before I do that, do I have any ooh? What did I just do? Oh, I attached it to one. Don't do that. Give me my tool back. Okay. How big was that thing? Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at the size of that thing. No wonder it needs 110 motors. Where's the little bitty dinky one? Yeah, that guy. That's the guy I want. He needs 18. What the crap? Oh, that was like the capital ship stuff. Oh my god. Okay, much better. 18 times 18. 324 much better let's get a I need a pen I need a pen I can write all this oh pen. please don't mind all the papers rustling gotta do a little bit of math here okay so, that's 324 motors. What else we got here? Steel plates. Two. Two times 18. 36, right? Yep. 36. And then 1 and 18. So, 2 to make 20, 54 steel plates. 20 construction components. Actually, it's 22. 22 times 18. 396 construction components. 18 large steel tubes. 18 metal grids. And we already have the motors. Good. Alright, that doesn't seem like a humongous 
undertaking as the other one did. Lord have mercy. That, and that, I would say, is equivalent to a jet engine. I don't think a jet engine has 110 motors inside of it. I feel like if you have 110 motors, if any of those 110 motors has a problem, then it reduces the efficiency of the aircraft and make, creates huge safety concerns. I would feel that you would want the minimum amount of moving parts and the minimum amount of motors to decrease wear and tear and to keep consistency throughout the object. So whoever designed this game probably is just like, oh no, uh, engines have a lot of moving parts, uh, like 110. Like, no, probably not, because that would be super difficult to maintain and insanely time-consuming <laughs> to look at 110 motors and make sure that they were they were working appropriately. But what do I know? Whew. Okay, so what do we have with us are. Let's just let's just take things one step at a time. Where's the refinery? You are still working on that cobalt. Holy crud. Dude. Really? We left you forever ago. Oh, it won't do the, the gold. We've had like aneurysms by the, by the why are you done with the cobalt? Okay, iron. We got about three thousand iron. Oh, we had a lot more. Oh, we made all those steel plates. Three thousand iron. That probably will be enough. Need landing gear too. We could use the wheels as a landing gear, to tell you the honest truth. We don't need to, um, we could do that. We could just travel back and forth with, uh, the atmospheric thrusters. And then we can just land and turn over to a, a, a roller for just the last little bitty baby bit. And hopefully that things don't go crazy. I guess putting those drill bits on the end of these pistons was a bad idea. I feel like that's where the problems originated from was those. Which sucks. Maybe I feel like that would break if you took that off. I could save it, cut them out, put the drill bits back on it, and just make sure that it's not attached. Well, Lord have, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back over here and let's continue our thought process. Alright, move the gold up there. Because it can't be... Nothing, I can't do anything with it right now. The silicon's being transferred. Okay. Oh, this is the basic one. I shouldn't be so... Yeah, it's the basic one. Alright, 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 alright. Let's put that there. Because I want to see how this goes. I don't know what that gravel. My gravel's just taking up space. And then I'll move this here. I'm gonna move this back up here. Okay. Detectors, metal grid, oxygen, gravel. At least put the gravel on top of each other. Display, grinder, interior plate, money. Okay, 18 metal somethings, metal grids. I have four. I'm going to need 14 more. So, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Done. 18 large steel tubes. I have 14. I need four more large steel tubes. One, two, three, four. Okay, done. Steel plates, 54. I have a thousand. Done. 
motors. I need 324 motors I have to do construction components. I have 57. I need 396. So let's do... I just tried to log it on my phone and my fingerprint didn't work. So now I gotta do this the old fashioned way. 3 to make 60. 40 to make 100. 296 to make 396. So 3 and 40 is 43. 43 that makes 299. Oh no, no. That's 100. So that would be, yeah. So yeah, it would be 10. Jesus Christ. So, that's 9. That's 3. 300. This just shows you how stupid I am. In order to get 396, I need 439. You see? You see how dumb I am? I need more construction. I think I added... I think I added 57 to, uh, uh, I'm supposed to subtract. I don't know why you're watching this video. I don't know why you're watching this channel. Please leave me alone. <laughs> 396. Here we go. I got the calculator working on the phone. 396. Subtract 57. 339. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see where the 339 is. It's right there. 339. I had it written down. I just, I added 57 to it. Actually, no, I added 100 to it. I don't know why. All right, so I need 339 of that. Let's see what happens. If I go to production and I say, please, Mr. Production, make me 339 of that. It says we have the iron. It says, no problem, Ben. You're only going to have 2,000 iron left after this, though. And the motors... The motors take 6 iron each, right? Yeah, motors take 6 iron each. So, 300 times 6, that's already putting us at 1,800. We might be able to do this. I need 322. 2, 3, 1, 2... It says no. It says you don't have enough nickel. So nickel is going to be our, our, it's not going to be the iron. The iron, we're just going to have enough. We're not going to have enough nickel for all the motors. Interesting. I would not have thought nickel would be our problem. It is, though. I wonder if I'm, I wonder if I'm over-engineering. I wonder if I can get away with... Just one, two. I wonder if I can do that. I wonder if I can just do two on each side. Two on the back for propulsion. Two on the front to go backwards. And then two. I don't know. Let's see how many. Let's see how. Let's see how many. And that's why another thing is it would be great if you could build the thrusters right now that way you would see how many you have and how many you're going to work with versus you know placing them and then having to come up and grind them up i also need to make sure i have enough to build a drill oh, i don't have to i could always just hop out and drill by hand i did that for a long time before i gave in and built drill heads so all right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You've stuck with me for a long time figuring that out. I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and I'll come back when I have the damn thing built. Thank you.